Yeah, sorry about that. My last video got interrupted. Let's keep going. Yeah, this really sucks. Like, now, now you guys are like... Zack's able to get basically a full buy. Psychic and Ted are still buying head armor. Psychic Ted and KGB are still buying head armor instead of smokes. Like, yeah. you really, you really, you really need, you really need nades here. You really need to get all the nades that you can when you're when you're kind of trying to scrape together a buy like this. Yeah, at the very least, you guys need you guys need to skimp on the head armor and get smokes. It still sucks because you're not going to have any incendiaries on B, but I mean, at the very least, having smokes and flashes. I also would, really would have liked to see Ted not have a op and just buy a rifle, so that he could get, so that he could have all the nades. That, so you, you, you could at least have nades on one of the guys on B, so that Ted could have full nades and you know have smoke, two flashes, incendiary. So you kind of have a little bit of a fighting chance of holding B. But now you have to be aggressive. Like now, you, now you have to be like when you don't have nades to stop them. You don't have nades to stop them when they're trying to bring the fight to you. Now you have to, you have to like take the fight to them and take engagements to them and try and actually aggressively get those first one or two picks. All right, that's a good start. Yeah, so has one HP. Nice. And Zach smoked. Pretty sure Zach is smoking. B from A, pretty sure. Let's watch that again just to see, make sure. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Come on, there we go. Yeah, he is. Alright, that's good. It's good it's good teamwork. Good team communication, I like it. So you at least you have one smoke on B. Yeah, you have one smoke on B and it was reactionary to what was happening, you know. Ted got a pick, he knows there's at least one more guy there because they they shot at him and dinked him through the wall. So now he's one HP. And uh then he's able to stay alive and then Calls for the calls for back to smoke it over from B. This is good. Good teamwork. Good communication. KJB heard that guy. Heard the guy right there. He like picked up a gun or something. Picked up or got dropped a gun or something. I don't know if he heard that. Just make sure he did. Where's the guy with the bomb going? Oh, he's T spawn. Okay. <laughs> so I get to pick a nice play in this uh play this cheeky angle here. It's a pretty good angle though if you've never if like if they haven't seen you play it before, they'll be so fucking confused when they get shot at. I don't know whether I gotta pick from pick on mid or pick in halls, but now you guys have man advantage. the fuck. There we go. You guys actually have a 5v3. And Jesus Christ, that guy is like... That guy's always pre-aiming. I guess it's just always so ready. Holy shit. So you guys have a 3v1. But your money's kind of fucking... But your guys' health is kind of uh, pretty sketch. If I'm KJB, I'm thinking I can't die. KJB's like the one guy who can't die here. 
the other, like the other two guys, like you want to set up some get some sort of setup where one of the low HP guys will die, and then KJB will get the trade. Because if KJB dies, and then you have teammates with one HP and sixteen HP, it's really fucking rough. You guys could still do it if you, as long as you play together and double peek or get a crossfire, but it's way it's way harder. But yeah, that guy just kind of jumping in doesn't check. So it could have been risky if that guy hard checked the sandbags, but since he didn't, you guys get the round. Uh, there's no reason for some to have a, a full loss here. Zach could have just dropped him an M4. Could have dropped him an M4 and uh, could have still had full nades. Or maybe not. He Maybe he would have had to skimp on one, but he still would have had smoke double flash. And the sim could have had an M4 and could have had an M4 and full nades. And again, this head armor man. I think he might have lived though. So he might have lived the last round. But, so I don't know. But. But you guys' nades is. Good enough. You guys, you guys actually, you have two fire bombs on, uh, on B now. KJB here is quite a few people. I think you hear two people at B, but there turns out to be a lot more. So he's just holding a molly. Holding Molly while Ted's holding the thing. Well, this is. Throw it! No! No, what happened? Did Zack smoke it? No, I would be so mad. What was that? Who smoked it? Did Zack smoke it? Oh no. Did the struggle? Ugh. He smoked it, and then KJB threw a molly into the smoke. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so hard, dude. That timing just—if—if if Zach just like held the smoke for a little bit longer, like if KJB throws the molly, gets his gun out, and then holds the angle, and then Zach throws the smoke, you guys are good. Like the molly stops him from coming in, and then the smoke pop, and then Zach smoke pops, and then you, and then they're waiting behind a smoke. But instead, oh, like, like instead, what happened was Zach smoke popped, and KJB threw his molly into the smoke, so they never got mollied out. So they're just coming in as the smoke. Popped. Guys, what a struggle! Good job by Ted, though. Uh, unfortunate. You, you pro Zach probably could have rotated a little bit faster there. Like, as soon as as soon as uh, KGB and Ted hear those guys throwing all that shit over B, then Zach can like throw that smoke and rotate immediately. Pretty unretakeable situation here. I would just say save, save it. Just call it save. Looks like that's what you guys do. All right, that's good. Cow, 
by the time it was so unfortunate, though. Either, what needed to happen was either Zack needed to throw the smoke and KGB needed to throw his molly in front of the smoke. Or, like I said before, KGB had to throw the molly and then wait for the molly to dissipate and then, Zach to th and then for Zack to throw the smoke. Then for Zack to throw the, like, throw the smoke and then rotate. Terrorists win. So, let's see. Your guys' money is kind of shitty. Because you guys just saved, but you do get a buy out of it. I wonder if I could rebuy nades. Like, instead of rebuying nades, he could have like dropped KJB this Famas. So the KJB could have had nades. And KJB, again, could have not had hair armor here and just had a smoke. You guys go for the boost, that's good. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to go for that when you guys are low on nades, go for something a little more... Uh, a little risky, but like high risk, high reward. If they don't check it, you guys can get it. Wait, I thought KJB, I'm thinking you guys, you, you gotta stop playing that spot when, you, when they're mauling it all the time. You gotta pick a new spot. Like, you can just play, like, right there. Like, peeking this wall like this. Like, just right against this wall, peeking out like this. And then you can just bait for your teammate on the boost. That would probably be... Like, and if you get smoked, you can still, like, kind of peek on the outside of the smoke, and then fall, beh fall back behind the smoke. If there's a spawn smoke. That's usually, like, that's usually one of the mo most common setups, is have one guy there and have one guy in the side somewhere. Yeah, no, you, when you have a guy boosted up like that, you need your teammates to take first contact to bait for the guy who's on the boost. If the guy on the, if the guy on boost takes first contact, he's probably a max get. He max gets one kill and then gets traded. If if KGB is like in spawn and he baits for his teammates, KGB can probably get the first pick, fall back, and then the two guys will kind of rush out trying to go after that guy, and then the guy on the boost can get at least one or two. This yeah, now this round's really fucking messy because you have like one guy who's up A and you have the other two guys who are banana. It looks like the banana guys are rotating back, converting bomb back to A. So you guys have a good read on this. Zach actually went back to A. That's that's good. And now you guys have the drop the bomb, I think, right? Yeah, you dropped the bomb and that guy picked it up. Uh, 37 seconds left. They could still feed. Me. They still might have been able to rotate to A, but you catch that. Zach repositions himself in the library and catches that guy out. Drops the bomb again. And I think you guys know the last guy is coming up A. What a shot. Still should probably be an easy round one, though. Zach's not peeking. KGB is going for the flank. This guy just can't do anything. KJB set up to kill him after time runs out. Counter terrorists win. Go for the kill, go for the kill. Aww. I can see why you wouldn't want to go for the kill. Yeah. yeah I guess your guys' money is kind of shitty. I mean, Zach could probably drop for KJB if KJB died, though. And KJB almost certainly gets that kill because the guy's, like, scoped in on library. But, I mean, I don't know. 
No big deal. They would have had enough money to buy anyway. So. I guess I can respect the that decision more. I don't get why you had teammates with Flosses here. Could you really not just? Could you really not have had M4s? Oh, I feel like there had to have been a way for you guys to have M4s here. Let's let's, let's go back. Ted needs a drop. Sin needs a drop. These two guys can drop. Yeah, I guess I guess not. If KGB drops an M4, he can buy a smoke flash and be fine. So KGB could drop an M4. Instead he drops a FAMAS. Now he has a little too much money. I could even drop. So I also dropped Flamas. Huh. I don't feel like calculating that out, but I feel like there was a way you guys could have at least had one more M4. But like, KGB did that, and he only dropped a Flamas, but then he only bought an HG grenade instead of an, instead of an incendiary. That's the only way I could think that you would not want to drop an M4 is so you could have an incendiary on B, but. If he's only going to buy an HE grenade, he might as well just drop an M4 and not have the HE, since the HE is pretty fucking useless. I mean, not useless, but not as impactful as your teammate having a, sl a better weapon. But. Where's that guy at? Sure, that was. These guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh my god, those ter these terrorists are so just such puggers. Everything they do is just puggy as fuck. Well, let's let's break down that round. Let's see what actually happened. I just watched it all the way through first. First one who died was Sam. Jesus Christ! The guys just they just scram up mid. Pretty sure the guy was running when he killed him too. That's just annoying. Massacre guy is so lucky. Bomb has been planted. That was just like, I don't know, you guys got pugged on kind of. It's the only way I can describe it. They just kind of, they just kind of held W and ran up mid and ran up halls. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a straight up scrap. Let's go, let's go on the next half. 
So overall for your CD half, I, th I think th there's some, a lot of good aspects to it. Uh, your guys' bias could be a little, a little more tight. Like there, there is some opportunities for you guys to instead of buying body armor, or instead of buying head armor, you can have body armor to have more grenades. Buy a little bit less, buy less defuse kits. Um, buy together. You know, there was some rounds where one guy was buying them, the rest of the team wasn't. And uh, to be a little more, to use like flashes, or just overall, just to use all of your, use all of your nades, on the CD side, because there was still some times where people were dying with nades in their hands, or even full full nades. Like Ted at the very end of the, at the very end of that round had full nades in his hand. So there's that. The opera could pro the opera could be a little more aggressive, I, I would think, and could move around a lot more. Like he like Ted only played B. And Zach sometimes had an op on Archway, but I think there's still way more places for you guys to take the op to get first picks, like peeking down, peeking down halls, peeking out window room, uh, having a teammate flash for the opper to peek down mid. Like I don't think I saw that. I don't think I saw the opper peek down mid once. It was always Ted on B, peeking banana falling back to spools, and it was Zach always basically just playing passively on Archway and then taking a shot falling back to library. Which don't get me wrong is good, but it's predictable. Uh, if you like, if you move the opera, like as soon as the other team realizes that you're never putting an opera in halls, then they can then they can get lazy and just peek halls without having to worry about an opera there. Same with uh, same with mid. You know, they can just kind of run up mid on you, and they weren't worried about an opera peeking getting a first pick. Like I feel like some of the rounds where they just scrimmed up mid, there was an opportunity for the like the opera probably could have just like when he had a good spawn, he could have just peeked it and got a free pick. Because they were probably just walking up mid really lazy and not really thinking about it. So you, you guys can be more aggressive on your CD side. Your CD side was really passive, and when the rounds like five v five like that, uh, it can get the round can get really complicated really fast if you don't go for first picks or go for aggressive peaks when there's that many people still alive. And uh, you're we're forfeiting the terrorists a lot of map control for free instead of uh, fighting for it at the choke points. Like you generally want to like fight for a little bit uh, before you just fall back into like areas like pit and spools and back of B site and new box and A site. You want you want to like, go for some fights a little bit and uh, try and get some you know get a pick or two before you're before you're falling back into a passive hold. So yeah, that's what I think about your CD side. What do you guys buy? They buy like smoke flash, double HE grenade, and a diffuse kit. You guys have one person get nades. Story is so sketch, dude. Did he just like peek out and instantly one tap somebody? Like peek out and pre fire it? What the fuck? It might just be because server, I think, I think demos are still 32 tick, but or 16 tick, one or the other. Holy fuck, that looks sketch though. He was on the he was on the other side. A little less sketch, I guess. I guess I'm gonna flash around that corner now.
Alright, Zach's going off. Oh, fail. <laughs> It's always the hard shots. Or it's always the easy shots that we miss. But yeah, there's no way for this guy to win the round. It doesn't even matter what shot you guys do and don't hit. At this point, it's just round over. That was good. Uh, Sim didn't really use his flashes though. Like it, w he kind of threw he threw the smoke on left side mid and then didn't really flash his teammates up. You guys kind of just peeked it dry, but I mean it's 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 okay as long as you guys are all going together and jumping around the corner. But he's gonna buy flashes. He might as well use them. Like he could he could have like he could have flashed you guys to get around uh, Porsche side, or he could have and he also could have flashed you guys as soon as you guys peeked around uh, the corner at mid. So just something to keep in mind if you're going to buy flashes. But you guys hit some nice shots there. Alright. This can't happen. You can't skip, you can't skip on head armor when you're on T-side. And you especially can't skip on T with head armor can't skimp on the head armor on T side when your other team when you know the other team is gonna be on fucking eco or force buy. The other team is gonna be on pistols. That's just a big no no. You can't do that. Uh, like you're 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 allowing them to you're allowing these guys to use their P two fifties and five sevens to they can one shot you from really long range. And yeah, it's just no don't do it. Even if they have USPs they can just one shot you. Like just always buy head armor. <laughs> always buy head armor on T side. You guys are using nades really methodically, which is good. You guys are clearing out all the angles, getting up B. You, got, you have control of banana. And then Zach out of picking halls, looks like. Now you hear that guy rotating. You hear that guy rotating off of B. This is this is like your guys' uh, cue to go. Just just go B. The only corner you, you didn't check this corner, which is with the teams on eco really strong. You you should molly that corner out. Like you should definitely molly out sandbags and this corner. Every time. When you when you're going B, especially when they're on uh, eco. And they have some troll set up. <laughs> On B. Has been That's good. I don't. I don't know if you guys like heard that guy rotating off of B and communicated. All right, they're rotating off of B. Let's go B. But regardless, you guys made a good decision. Well played, Antico. Yeah, this round's over. This guy's always buying a taser. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. I'm pretty sure every round I've looked at, I've looked at his inventory, he's always had a taser. That's yeah, a good molly. Yep. Okay, guy gets owned.
That guy, that guy was just spamming mouse one. I would be a little sketched out here. I don't know. You kind of don't want to commit too hard on, when you're on an anti-eco because you never know when they could just be stacked up in that site. Since you guys have already fought three people there, I think the safest play would just be to go A. Because the other two guys are probably also stacked to B. Just my thoughts though. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's left on the SPs. Yeah, and you guys don't check that corner and you get owned. <laughs> yeah. A little dirty. You guys can't find the AK. That was, it was in the, it was in that cubby back there. But it's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Zach stays on the UMP. I like it. I, don't know. I, I like it, but I don't like it. I would have liked it more if you guys were ahead. Since you guys are behind. Risking losing first gun round in an in an attempt to bolster your economy a lot more, kind of risky. High risk, high reward. Uh, Zach, I don't understand. Zach should have 100 also dropped <laughs> dropped Sim an AK. I don't like Sim bought his own AK and now he doesn't have nades. But Zach has 9,000, <laughs> so just. Uh, yeah, I, I, this, I think I think the play that I would call is for, for Zach to just buy an AK, or if he wants to opt double op. But I don't I don't know I don't like I don't like just only using a UMP here when you guys aren't you guys are behind and risking so much on first gun round. But let's see if the risk pays off. Let's see what let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he plays that long range angle. I guess if he goes goes toward halls, it's okay if he can get up close to somebody. But I think I would want to use Zach as like entry entry fragger here, like entry bait here, if he only has UMP. Just do something hyper aggressive and fast, and have him have him go first. Yeah, he maybe there's a chance he can catch somebody with a nade out or something. But he's I guess he's lurking out of B, and you guys are setting up for some more B shit. Molly sandbags, and I have control banana. Yeah, they're set up very similarly to how you guys were. This is this is defaulty, but I like it. You guys are taking control of banana and then looking for a pick. The fact that both mid and banana aren't smoked is kind of. I don't know. I, I, I would feel kind of sketched out if they weren't smoking either mid or banana, but. I mean, I can see now that the third guy is at A, but. Oh, what's, what's Zach doing? Oh, that sucks. He got a good fight too. He got a good fight for what, for what the, for what, the for what it was worth. I mean, for, for what the UMP, but this is a fight. Now you guys just yeah, you guys just haul ass towards B, but you don't smoke like you go before the spawn smoke pops. Yeah, that was a little too antsy. You guys had a had a a site, a free site with no people there or with two people there. But I don't know. You didn't use enough nades. Like how many? It's how many? How much nades did you die with? I feel like you didn't use all your flashes. You just kind of just threw a spawn smoke, and that was it. They throw a bottom B smoke and you guys just kind of run through it. 
pretty pointless for him to throw them to throw that smoke if they're not gonna have anybody peep banana with it. Like have an offer peep banana or anything. Okay, so they do smoke. You throw them all in, they smoke banana. So you guys are kind of just waiting. Yeah, his flash didn't go all the way. So you guys are you guys are going in as the spawn smoke is coming down, and you're going in with this two flashes, two smokes, two HEs, and uh, and molly. You could have mollied like you, you definitely you could have mollied new box where that guy was, and you could have thrown a smoke for spools, and you could have thrown HE grenades like an emo from uh through the little hole. Or over the fence, like you know what I'm talking about, where KGB likes to peek a uh, new box from, and then you could use your two flat, your other two flashes. Instead, you kind of went in with decent, decent amount of utility, and you guys all just kind of died. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That guy's money is really weird because Zach has a fuck ton of money. Everyone else is pretty much broke. So Zach's dropping you guys tech nines. You guys are gonna rush B or something. Psychic so actually buys a SMG. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are just going for a hard B rush. I like the call to run through them incendiary. It probably you probably like uh someone got I think Ted got the first pick with a tech nine, Ted or KGB got the first pick. You guys could have just fallen back and had a man advantage. Um, you know you probably could have just fell back, wait for the incendiary to fade, and then you could have just kept going. Or you could have, you know, got the pick, wait for the incendiary to fade, pick up the gun and go A. I can understand you guys want to go fast because you have tech nines and armor, but I don't know. Some something just feels something does feel right to me when you guys have the man advantage and you're still running through a molly. When you, yeah, tech not armor. I mean, tech not armor is still pretty good. You guys could have all just went hulls, or you guys could have ran a mid. I guess I think you guys still had some nades left too. But pretty successful round nonetheless. You guys got a bomb plane, killed three people. This is gonna be your guys' buy. If you win this round, you have a chance. If you lose this round, it's pretty much over. Zach's dropping people. I think dropped two AKs. So you guys get the buy. Uh, Ted or Sim doesn't have any nades, but other than that, you guys are pretty pretty good. Pretty respectable buy. I guess I guess Zach picked a guy pushing halls or something.
Come on. There we go. Or did he, he, he probably got this kill. Solid kill. Uh, so you have a man advantage. Sim is 5 HP though. At this point, I think you guys just want to do like do a side take all together. Have Sim go first and trade off of him. Just use him, use him for info. Now that he's only now he's so low. That's another pick. Gets another pick on a guy hauls, and there's still one more guy hauls. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and you guys killed two. Got two kills on Ace. He's out of the way. Sim definitely should have gone first there. And you guys get some, You guys just go in A, A together and bid some trades and then you have Sucker. Smarly decides to fall back. And now this guy can't win, he's probably just gonna save. So you guys win that round. Good job. Yeah, that was kind of weird how they were playing so many people in halls. Like Destoria came up, tried to peek halls. Zach killed him. Zach got another pick halls, and a third guy comes peek peeking out halls. Kills Zach. You guys have two picks on ace. So you go away. Pretty straightforward. Didn't really use any nades, but you know, sometimes you just gotta frag out. Like it's not bad to it's not bad to do it. You just go out driving the nades, but. You don't want to like rely on that type of play. Now you guys get a full buy. They're on three FAMASs. If they lose this round, they're pretty much broke. Yeah, so I could probably should ask for a flash from his teammate to peek that instead of just peeking a drive, but the guy misses the shot. Smoke, they fuck it up. You know they're kind of like money fucked, and you know the guy just saved an op from the previous round. I would think if we know the oppers on B, just go A, because on A they probably have like FAMASs or SMGs or pistols, pistols with armor. And this guy, laughably, somehow only has an M4, has M4 with no armor. <laughs> uh, yeah, not sure what happened there, but. But yeah, you guys are smartly just waiting, playing really slow. This is a good round to do that because since their money is so fragile, they're probably going to try for something more aggressive. They go for the flash peak, but it wasn't that great of a flash, so Psychic can turn from it. Yeah, that re-peak was not, not, too not so necessary, pretty antsy. Like, You know the opera's there, he's probably posted on that angle, and you got the first pick. Yeah, just fall back and go A, you know the opera's at B. Or at the very least, throw, flash over instead of just running in on the offer. You guys get the sight though. They, they had like. You killed one, you knew the second guy was an offer, and their rotators were behind a smoke. So you decided to just go in there along the offer. And your post point spots are pretty good. On B site, I would say the best post plant spots are well. The best plant spot is probably on the on the grill or in front of the grill, and the best post plant spots are new box, 
banana, like have one guy play banana either in the cubby or behind the car. Uh, emo is okay, but y there are better ones. Like I would say the top three are someone in garden, kind of like on the side by construction. Uh, I don't think you have anyone playing there right now, but and also here's really good. Uh, pool or water, whatever you call that. So like here, like the best one's probably new box, peeking through that crack between the pillar and the box. Second best, probably the garden by construction. Third one's probably here. Fourth is probably banana. And fifth is emo. Or you can always like boost someone up on this box or uh, over by uh, the box by emo. Also, if you can get someone like if you're if you're at a if you have equal numbers and you take B, like if it's a 3v3 and take B, and you can, you can get someone to like aggro up, uh, spawn, and get in some off angle where he'll be pushed up and the CDs won't expect it, that's pretty good too. So yeah, it's a, it's a 4v1 and the last guy has M4 no armor, so... Yeah, he's just saving. I guess he, didn't, he wasn't able to save it. I guess you guys got the kill on him, so that's good. So now they're on full on USPs. Let's skip that round. I guess if I was, so I have five alive. Oh, they're, they're on USPs again? <laughs> okay, they just light by. They bought a bunch of HE grenades. Five P 50s and five HE grenades, that's. Uh, See if they get anybody with, the, with these. Probably not. Yeah, they just chuck them down mid. Yeah, you guys are kind of making presents of banana, but you end up going A. And the last two guys are B. So good job there. So now now is the real test. Now that now they're gonna have guns again. You guys have all the all the guns, all the grenades, everything you would want. Throw like a really deep mid smoke. I would probably be wondering if they're pushing a guy through halls or up mid or something, but I guess not. Guys just holding. I don't think anyone's watching halls though. Yeah, Zach Zach was watching halls, he just fell out of the halls, he's about to smoke someone's about to smoke mid for you guys. Smoke left side mid, throw some flashes, go up. Yeah, it's also pretty common for someone to molly that corner. If you guys all have all these mollies, you can use one of them to molly that corner right there. And maybe a Molly Bully run too. You guys like pulled the trigger too fast. For starters, you, you had a lot of nades left going into this, but also like... You guys kind of just went into a full A take and like through ran through an incendiary or someone smoked out an incendiary and you guys just kind of like went uh you guys still had 40 seconds too i would, I would like to see you guys play a little bit slower go for a go for a pick like maybe instead of going port side you guys could have sent flash the guy up our side 
to try and get a pick and maybe send somebody through CD spawn just to have a really good person to put a thorn in the rotators or have someone get someone posted in the library or something. Instead of instead of just going 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 ham and just fighting to the death here at uh here at port side. Because this isn't really this like it's hard to get up here. It's hard to get up past here. There's so many angles. There's a graveyard, there's this box right here when you push up too far, there's this side of pit, there's a uh, Like there's there's here in pit and there's behind the pole, there's you know a guy on balcony, uh, anywhere in a site, there still could be a guy art side or library. Like there's just so many places you have to check. So hard to take the so hard to go through here, uh, when it's still five v five. Just one of the many reasons why Inferno sucks on T side. Yeah, good try. You guys still have fuck tons of cash though, so. I would say you guys' B has been working really well. I, uh, you guys should probably just keep going B in this game. Like hold for picks and then take banana control and go and go toward B. Gets the pick that time. You guys take banana control and they smoke it off. I just group up and go B probably. Like tell Zach to come back and everybody go banana to B. I'm pretty sure here that guy threw the nade from our side. Zach made noise or not, but I'd be so fucking tilted if that happened to me. Like Zach had a chance to make a crazy good play. Like he could he could have caught like two, three people in the back. Maybe maybe he just, maybe he just made too much noise. You guys kinda just don't get anywhere on B. That sucks, like you guys still have money, but I don't know. These guys are just so aware. Crazy, you guys' money was so good that you were able to get three straight full buys. I think it's about time you guys did something fast. You guys have been playing slow basically all your whole T half. I think it's time for you guys to do something yellow, like go like fast up mid. Like just go really fast up mid, like throw it just throw a smoke, throw a flash, go. Or uh Probably not. Probably not banana because they have an incendiary. They have incendiaries for banana all the time. But like, go fast on mid or something. Playing slow was working in the beginning, but you guys, they're kind of gotten used to what you guys are doing. What was that? <laughs> what 
this flash. Fire for days. So you guys actually have three people saying a banana like before, but you guys have a guy up at A. Mm. And where's Zach? He's in boiler. Huh. This is this is kind of risky. Like Ted outpicks the guy at B. I don't know. A guy, a guy could just like peek out at spawn and kill Ted right now. But looks like you guys are playing, still playing pretty smart. Yeah. So he goes with the spawn smoke. And you guys That was a good try. I like the fact that he went and like aggressively peeked the guys coming spawn. But let's, let's see what happened after the 3v3. Ted outpicks this guy. Close Ted, right? That was pretty good pre-fire. You guys were kind of catching on to the fact that guy was always peeking that angle. As soon as you guys get that first pick, and you guys have a 5v4, you guys should probably call these guys back. Like, tell KJB and Zach to just come back banana so we can all go B. Or, KJB and Zach could call you guys from banana to come back and you guys all go A. Like, you guys need to be together here. I think the fact that you guys were like, like, KJB gets called back and you guys ring the bomb, but Zach's still trying to lurk. And having a lurker when you guys have the man advantage is risky. Just because he's by himself and. They've kind of already demonstrated that they're aware of the fact that Zach's always lurking. And that guy gets two. That guy gets two because you guys didn't really clear the site that well. And you guys were trying to clear stuff and you didn't really clear spools and you just peeked spools. Yeah, and Zach just made a little too much noise. Zach made too much noise and died, and then. Psychic tried to peek construction and died. Because that guy was already there. Mm. I don't really I don't I don't think this is necessarily bad. Uh I think Zach should have been with the team though. Like if Psychic if Psychic gets the pick there, then it's a two v two and you guys can just play spots. And if Zach's with the team then uh and do, like if Zach doesn't die there and just plays with the team then uh, you guys have a 3v3. So, it's just kind of unfortunate how that happened. You guys just kind of got outshot here. Then KJV brings it kind of close. Yeah, really nice spray. Yeah, probably should have been a little more patient here. Instead of just immediately going for the third fight, like that guy knows where you are. If you just get the instead of just peeking this immediately, if you just get those two picks and you just kind of slow down. Where's the bomb planted? I think the bomb was planted. 
Where the fuck is the bomb? I can't find it. Oh yeah, okay, so it's right, it's right there. So it's like, it's sort of planted for you. You can just like fuck with the guy, fuck with this guy. Like I don't know if you knew he was there, but once you kill those two guys rotating from, oh well, yeah, you knew he was there because you knew this was the guy that was in construction that killed Psychic. So like if you see these two guys who are rotating, at, you kill those two guys rotating, and you know where the last guy is, you can kind of like fuck around with this guy a little bit more and play the bomb instead of just immediately going for the peak. You could, especially since there's a smoke here, you can just play like behind the smoke and kind of just dance in and out between construction and here and just uh play the bomb. You might have been able to win it. Instead of just peeking immediately and going for the fight. Like I, I like I, I know it's kind of like you get those two kills and you're kinda of pumped up and you're like, alright, I want to go for another fight, but I think it would have been best for you just it would have been best for you to slow down and just uh, play play the bomb from there since you're in a one v one. But nice try though. So yeah, that's it. You guys brought it pretty close considering it was a ten five T half or is eleven four. Right, it was 11 4. 3, 6, 9. Yeah, it was 11 4. Yeah, it's, they, they started off. Or was, yeah, they got 11 on their T side. So you guys brought it pretty close considering how it was. Um, yeah, you guys could have got way more CT rounds. Like, only getting 4 on your CT side is pretty miserable on this map, considering this map is so CT sided. I, I would think that you probably need to get at least 8 or 9 on CT side in order for you to. Reasonably make uh, in order for this in order for the game to be reasonably close, but he still brought it pretty close considering, considering uh, the first half. But your T side your T side looks a lot better than your CT side. Again, I think you guys I think you guys are more of a T side team. Uh, you guys are still rushing a little bit too much into uh, into side takes. Like you're you're kind of getting a first pick and rushing too much, and but at the same time I think you're you're not mixing up the pace as much as you could be. Like I guess this is a scrim, but I think you I think you guys like on your T side you just played slow and defaulty for the whole half. You never you never did anything fast. You never like you never went for anything super like fast aggressive. You never went for like just a bunch of flashes out mid and going out mid and running out mid. You guys are all just playing slow and, and defaulty. Which is okay, like that's not a bad style to have, but eventually the the CTs are gonna get used to it and they're not gonna they're not gonna start forfeiting any picks anymore. They're not gonna be peaking anything too aggressively. And then they're gonna make you come, but they're, they're just gonna play passively from there, on, then on out. So from there, from there, like you can, you can really uh, mess with them if you just do something really fast and just try and out aim them. So it would have been cool to see you guys mix up the pace a little bit more, and also move around the opera more. Like on T side, on T side, he moved around quite a bit. Like he picked, uh, he picked mid some, and then he picked banana. Never really picked uh, outside halls, but it's kind of a weird, it's kind of a weird thing to do. But it's still, it's still a good peak. But on CD side, he was always at B. And Zach was always at a A with an op on our side. So when he had the op, he was always our side. So ha moving the op around a little bit more would give you guys a, a better chance of catching people out and getting a first pick. And on your T side, uh, you guys are still peeking, sometimes peeking stuff without a flash from a teammate. Uh, it's getting better though. You guys, you guys, are, you guys are using your flash a little bit more. And your use of utility is getting a lot better. Still a little shaky though, and uh, let's see what else did I notice on your T side. Mm. That's all I can think of for, for right now. Like your T side actually looked pretty solid for what it was, and for how for how this match played out. Yeah, you got you got eight rounds, eight to four, or eight to five. Yeah, eight to five on your. On your T side, it was pretty good. I, I don't think your I don't think your T side is nearly as much of a concern as your uh, C D side. Like from what it is right now, you you would have ended your T side at worst. You would have at worst if this if you start on T side, you would have ended eight seven, which is really good, <laughs> really good on T side for this map. I think you just need to sharpen your C D side a little bit more and uh, coordinate your nades, like your smokes and your incendiaries, especially just having incendiaries on both sides of the map will uh, start to yield a lot more success. And if you do use a, uh, take advantage of the smoke timings that I mentioned to you and uh, stuff like that, I think I think it'll start to get a little sharper and you'll start to understand a little bit more uh, how this map plays out on CD side. But pretty good scrim, pretty good scrim I would say. And 
If you guys show up on the CD side, you're, you should be able to uh, should be able to win tomorrow. I would say. So good job.